This fifth coffee seems to almost argue for some mysterious Burundi Central African uh, determinant that we don't know about. It resembles the other I two. I know. It's not as different. Uh, even though, it, in theory, in coffee theory, the uh, difference in processing method should make more of a difference yeah. than it apparently does. I suppose that we're dealing with the similar uh, varieties. The Bourbon varieties have different names. They're all fairly closely related genetically, apparently. There's Jackson, Mirbizi, uh, two or three others. I don't know if you can speak of sub-varieties. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these three do you like the best, Kevin? Well, let me say I'm surprised at number five because typically I don't, I have not enjoyed every anaerobic as much as people around me have. I, I don't know, I don't always prefer it. And this one I really like, so this is a surprise yeah. to me. The curious thing is of the three with the least distinctive character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems the most uh, comfortable cup. It, it surprises me. That doesn't insist on, its, on itself. I'm really noticing how number two, the star, it's retained. It's a very bright, acidity-forward yeah. cup. Yeah, and mine is absolutely room temperature, so it's not as 70, it's, uh, 72 degrees, so it's... Yeah, it's almost too much, more than I, I care for, whereas on, on the other, the neighbor's number one, boy, that's a big, deep, full cup. Yeah, it would be, it's really a surprise to me, because it came from the roasters that did the least marketing on their bag. I mean, there's nothing... <laughs> you know, I'm getting a... A little hint of rubber in the cup. On, the, on one? Yeah. It's not an unpleasant rubber. Smelling a fresh tire can be very it, pleasant. Yes. Particularly if you if you like your automobile or your bicycle. <laughs> it's a pleasant <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I'm sort of <laughs> it's liking uh, number five, the anaerobic, probably the best now of those three finalists. Interesting continuity in cup. They're variations, all variations. At least for me, they you can tell that there that there's an association among them. Tendency for stone fruit and yeah. uh, the slight depth and uh, and fullness resonance. Cocoa and florals and the flowers are not particularly uh, High tone, they're low toned flowers. A good showing for Burundi, I'd say. Very good showing. We didn't get any natural processes or uh, honey processes. A good coherence. Nice range of variation on a theme. Yeah. Which must be associated with the combination of gro high growing elevation and, uh, and uh, tree variety related tree varieties. I don't know, do we want to go through our rating business? Uh, for me, it's going to be fairly easy. My number one would be the neighbors. This had an off, yeah. it just did. And this not the most flavorful. And then for, to me, and then I would think it would be okay. I mean, I think someone would be okay. Right, with it. it is an okay coffee. It's a nice, nice, quiet, balanced coffee. This is really an outstanding yeah. coffee. It's certainly the best anaerobic I think I've had. I, I really did enjoy it. So I'm kind of conflicted, again, between these two. This was outstanding when I first tried it, and I did get, when it completely cooled, I still got that maybe excessive brightness. And then, yeah, I would say the neighbors probably would have been first for me, and it really surprised me. It tasted like a, an old, fine coffee. By the way, any of these three, I would absolutely, uh, probably even this one, I would have no problem serving to anyone. They would really enjoy the, the, the overall f taste of the Burundi. Aside from the one that has what a uh, slightly off taste, uh, the red eye, the others are all fine variations on a theme. I have no problem with any of them, including the Jameson. I think it's a nice, quiet, 
agreeable cup. And, and it's, but it's characteristic. It has Burundi, Central Africa character. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's retained the floral notes. I think that's where I'm at. I'm a kind of a easygoing fellow here. I have four candidates, and any one of them would please me. These are good costumes. So I think this is a tribute to Burundi as very tiny but very distinctive coffee origin. A good choice. A good choice for consumers, particularly now because for the last month or two, we've been in a very good time for Burundis and other Central Africans. From the roaster, they're at their peak now. Uh, obviously, I think everybody should know between when the harvest happens and when the coffee is finally processed and after it's transported to the roasters, the roasters determine their best profile and it finally reaches the consumers probably several months after, after the harvest. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.